Uh, my name, first of all, is Doug Sheppen. Last name is spelled S C H E P M A N, and I'm a spokesperson for the Denver Police Department. Um, so, kind of the rundown of what happened here this evening. Around 4:45 uh, this afternoon, officers were in the area attempting to locate um, a male suspect related to aggravated robbery cases in multiple jurisdictions, both in and out of state. Um, that party was uh, believed to be armed and dangerous at the time. Um, the suspect was in a vehicle traveling westbound on Colfax, um, approached the traffic light here at Quebec. Officers attempted a traffic stop. At that time, the, the suspect, who is an adult male, attempted to kind of ram his way between a couple of cars that were stopped. Um, officers observed the suspect uh, brandish a firearm, and three of our officers did discharge their weapons, uh, striking that suspect, who was pronounced deceased here on the scene. There was a um, adult female passenger that was in the suspect vehicle. Um, she was transported for evaluation of injuries. It's unclear at this time if those injuries are uh, gunshot related. Um, we also had one officer transported for evaluation of injuries as well, uh, but not, not gunshot related. Um, the, so we currently have both directions of Colfax closed between uh, Quebec and Quince Streets. Uh, we suspect that closure will remain in place for several hours as investigators process the scene here. Um, the uh, Office of the Medical Examiner will be the agency that releases the identity of the deceased suspect. And in situations where we have an officer involved shooting, we have an established protocol that um, that investigation includes uh, investigators from the Denver Police Department, the Aurora Police Department, the Denver DA's office, as well as the Denver Office of the Independent Monitor. Do you have any questions? The police officer, what, what are his or her injuries? Um, I'm not clear what the injuries are. He was transported for evaluation. Um, but um, it, to my knowledge, is not any kind of gunshot related injury. Did the suspect shoot at officers? You know, that's part of what uh, will be um, the investigation as it, as it goes on. Um, the officers did observe the suspect brandish a firearm. Um, and that's when they discharged their weapons. Did we see bullet holes in a police car? In the windshield? I did not observe that, I'm sorry. Well, can you tell us about how many states this gentleman was wanted in, or were they under surveillance, or did you just happen to run across it? Right, so I, I don't have the, the, the details as far as what states um, and how many cases this party is, is wanted in, associated, in association with. Um, but these are cases that are um, aggravated bank robberies in multiple jurisdictions, both here in Colorado and out of state. Were federal authorities involved then? I'm sorry? Federal authorities involved as well, since they were bank robberies? The, um, the Safe Streets Task Force was involved in, in trying to locate this individual. And was there indeed a weapon in the car that the uh, suspect was in? The officers did observe the, the suspect brandish a firearm. And there was one found? after the shooting? The, the, uh, they're still processing the scene at this time, but um, the, the officers did observe a firearm um, being brandished by that suspect uh, when they discharged the weapons. Where was the alleged robbery taking place? Yeah, and again, I don't have the, the, the specifics on the robberies and whether um, wh when they occurred and exactly where they occurred, but I'm told um, he was wanted in relation to aggravated bank robberies in multiple jurisdictions. And the, the gender of the officer who was uh, slightly injured is, I don't know how you characterize that. I don't know the genders of the, of, we had three officers who were involved here who, did, who discharged their weapons. Um, I don't know their genders and don't have their names to release at this time. How about the suspect? Do you have any description? Uh, the suspect is an adult male. Um, as standard protocol, the office of the medical examiner will um, positively identify uh, the man and, and release his identity. There was a female passenger in the suspect vehicle. Um, she was transported for evaluation of injuries. Was she shot? It's unclear right now if, if her injuries are, are gunshot related. But you won't call her a suspect yet? Are you, you, you know, you're not ready to identify her as a suspect? Correct. So, so uh, investigators will work to determine what her um, involvement was in, in this particular situation. How Is many other treatment? cars were damaged? Well, there were two cars um, at the light westbound on Colfax at Quebec, uh, when the officers attempted to do a traffic stop on the suspect vehicle. Um, he attempted to kind of ram his way between those two vehicles, so there's certainly damage to those two vehicles. Car trying to ram its way through a couple vehicles, middle of a busy intersection, a busy afternoon, just your 
er, early on kind of ideas of three officers with lots of bullets flying? Is this normal? It's, no, definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely not normal. Um, it's obviously not, not, something that we never want to see, um, you know, happen on our streets here. Uh, and we're certainly lucky that uh, no other witnesses or parties that were um, involved were, were injured in any kind of way. Too early to say if officers followed protocol or not. That's kind of what I was. Getting right. At. That'll be part of the of the investigation as it moves forward. There'll be a, a um, an investigation into the um, the criminal aspects of, of this case, and and once that is completed, and the DA's office determines whether or not um, the, the officers' actions were justified, then the department does an internal review of the situation. Before the shots were fired, would you characterize it as a pursuit that police were in? It wasn't a pursuit. They, they pulled up behind the vehicle, uh, to, my, to my knowledge, at this stage of the investigation. They pulled up behind the vehicle to attempt a traffic stop. The vehicle tried to, um, to take off by going through the vehicles that were in front of them, directly in front of, and um, that, that's where the, the incident uh, ended there. So uh, a matter of just feet, not even a block, really. Just, it all just happened very close proximity. That's my understanding. Did the apologize. police car that pulled up behind, was it marked or unmarked, do you know? It was a marked vehicle. It was a marked vehicle. We'll let you check. I'll let you know. We'll let you know. And, and also the, uh, the firearm handgun. Um, I don't have specifics on what what type of firearm at this point. Um, once the uh, investigators are able to uh, fully process the scene, uh, we will have a little bit more information about you know this. this kind of um, the details of, of, of evidence that you guys are kind of seeking right now. You know if the vehicle he was in is reported stolen. I'm not aware if it was reported stolen or not. I apologize. Was he under surveillance either by Denver or FBI or out-of-state entities? So, uh, to my knowledge, the Safe Streets Task Force uh, was attempting to locate this party. Um, and through those efforts, it was located in this area, which resulted in this attempted stop and uh, officer culture. And it's well, accurate to say that's the FBI? The well, there, 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 there are multiple agencies that, uh, that are on the Safe Streets Task Force. Can't list them off for you right now. What robbery or robberies occurred in this jurisdiction? So we'll have to, um, uh, that's information that we'll have to get um, to, to be able to release to you guys. I don't, I don't have that with me right now to be able to say what cases in Denver are um, connected to the suspect and what cases from other jurisdictions. It's just not detail that I have right now to release. I don't know what the Safe Streets Task Force is, uh, what's their objective, and who's part of it. We'll get that for them. Yeah, that's, it, it's a multi-jurisdictional um, task force that, that addresses things. One of them is uh, bank robbers. Is it, is it a traffic violation or they were pulling him over because he was on the safe streets? Right, right. They were, they were attempting to stop because they, they wanted to locate um, and place into custody this individual um, for these bank robberies. Is he from Colorado? That I don't know. Again, the identity of the of the individual will be um, determined and, and released by the Office of Medical Examiner. He's driving away in a car, and yet officers see that he brandished the weapon. Is it safe to say that he pointed a gun at officers? The officers ob ob observed the weapon, and and so at that uh, point they obviously made the decision to discharge their weapon. So uh, the details of the chronology of that exactly is something that will determine through the. Ongoing investigation. When you say brandish, does that mean he had it in his hand, or did they just observe a weapon in a car? Yes, I'm told that he had he had a gun in his hand. Okay. Thank There's you, Doug. Appreciate it.